want you to look at number six. I want you to do number six. See what you can do with number six. Figure out what you can do with number six. This one doesn't require a product rule, does it? And you probably, you may have already figured out, there's only one part of this I'm really want to look at. More right up here, and if you need to help, you can look at it. Oh, and that's a Z, that's not a Z, that's a Z. Z. In the rest of the English speaking world, it's a Z. I wonder if that even shows up on camera. Why do y'all think I picked this one? Because I want to see what y'all would do with that exponent, right? What did you get after you worked this? What did you have outside of the parentheses? Negative what? Say it again, please. Okay. What's going to go right here? Negative four. You'd be surprised how often students miss that. They don't. They don't subtract from the negative. And then what do you need out here? You need three z squared minus six z. And of course, I can't say z without saying you know z is dead. No last. No. Okay. You know, I try to help you with your aesthetic education. Anybody here taking film class? Okay. Uh, Y'all talked about Tarantino. Uh, yeah. Well, he's made a few movies that are going to be considered, you know, in 100 years, they're going to tell you what our time period was like. And Zed is a character in one of his movies. And Zed does end up dead. All right. It was a bad man, and he ended up dead. Arr, okay. Look down at number 16. And y'all do know that notation means take the derivative of that, right? Okay. Uh, try 16. Sixteen is what we got on the left side of the board. See what you can do with sixteen. You can do sixteen. We can get you through a lot of work.
good news is once we do this section and then we do what's called implicit, we're going to start working applications. All right, this teaches enough derivatives that we can start doing applications. Okay. Number 16. And this is light hole 3.6. Because I know I always like to try to tell y'all where you're at. It's like old 3.6 d on dx parentheses 4x squared plus 7 squared next part 2x cubed plus 1 to the fourth. I'm going to help you because I'm going to put a little dot right here. A dot right in there. I'm going to put the derivative up here so that you can look up before you start doing all the algebra and check to see if you've got the derivative right. And I will tell you uh, this for when you head off to college. If you were doing this in a college classroom at this point, your professor would go, you simplify that. He would have never shown you all the steps I showed you on how to simplify it. He would have just said, you simplify it. All right? It's not quite true. Half of them would have said, you simplify it. And then half would have done what I did. All right? But you gotta admit, this is getting here is easier than doing what? Actually getting the simplification steps. Did everyone have the derivative right? Anyone miss the derivative? You can tell me if you did. Alright, then you gotta put your plus signs, line them up. And I may have given us too much space there, but. All right. Yeah, I'm watching you right. And the people that are watching the video of this at home, for their totally virtual or the or whatever, they just have to wait with us. Of course, they're supposed to be working at home. If you're at home, you're supposed to be working during this time.
and give me a nod if you're happy or a thumbs up. Now, tomorrow, uh, when you're home, start working on these. Give me an hour, right? Uh, do the odds. Give me an hour on the odds. I don't, now there's no way you're going to finish all those in an hour, right? Okay? But I want what? One hour. And I do need that hour tomorrow. Because Wednesday, what I want to do Wednesday is going to be based on getting a good hour out of you tomorrow. Did I say you had to finish on tomorrow? No. But just do the odds. And don't worry about 3-7 down here yet. I don't think you'll even get to 3-7. But 3-6, you're actually able to do 3-7 now. You have enough information. If I didn't even teach 3-7, you could do it now. But I'm just worried about 3-6. And I just realized there's no solutions on the end. So I have to take pictures and get solutions in here. Okay. Uh, that's what I was wondering if I had solutions to pictures yet. But do the odds um, and give me my hour tomorrow.